Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to set up your HD60 with your old Gato and Skype all at the same time. Um, this is an updated video because the last one I did was really boring and I kind of got to admit that. So uh, as you can see there, right up there, um, that is my face cam through the OBS software. But that is delayed and I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Um, this is an important part. You want to select your microphone, and you know you can do this. I'd recommend doing this if you want Skype to happen. Um, and basically, you want to do 200, 1, 1, and then 700. Remember that, guys. 700. All right. I don't do global audio sync offsets. That's what I found. You do not actually need that. Um, and I'll tell you why in a second. All right, in the Elgato, you want to click that and press properties in here. Um, you you just basically want to match, like, basically, you want to match the resolution with what you're streaming in. Um, so I was streaming in 1280 by 720, um, and on my uh, Xbox, I have um, made the settings so it is in 1280 by 720. Um, but I might actually change that because it doesn't actually make much of a difference. As you can see, 60, you can make it 30, but don't recommend you do that with OBS. Um, in here, it says use buffering milliseconds. Um, you don't even need to tick that. Just leave it as it is. Don't do anything of that. And you can see here, just don't do any of that either. That's what I used to think you had to do. But I actually found out there's an easier way. Alright, so you just want to keep everything as it is. No, don't change anything unless you want to change configure your Elgato or change the resolution, but nothing else you want to change. In your webcam, if you're going to be choosing a webcam, you want to click properties. Get your look. I've got my Logitech C920. I've also got my other webcam, but it's not actually plugged in right now. Whatever. And then here, if you remember, we buffered. All right, we buffered the audio to 700, and you want to make sure the webcam's lined up with that, so it's 700. Now the Elgato delay is actually 700. That's what we're doing. We're actually just buffering everything else to match up with the Elgato, um, and in my opinion, that is really good. Um, it may be a little different to you depending on what type of HDMI cable you're using and uh, whether you're using 2.0 or 3.0 but um, it should be around this number um, it can go all the way up to a thousand but it, it you should be fine at around this mark right here um, if you find you are a little delayed you can tune it up to what you want but if really at 700 it's fine all right you don't want to change anything else in here all right and you just want to leave it as it is so now if we go into the preview stream settings wait for it to load the recording might lag a little bit here and uh okay let's let's fix that all right I actually set it up my image a little bad in the overlay so it's not exactly lined up perfectly all right oh there you are that is it guys that is the way to do it you can see on my face cam it is delayed and you can see um, I can't actually show you this although I may include it um, at the end of the video um, me doing a right left if you don't know what that means just go right left right left and um, it will be synced up this is in 60 fps by the way um, and you should be good so anyway guys thank you so much for watching the video leave a like favorite comment subscribe if this helps you out and if you want me to do more obs tutorials i will thank you so much for watching the video guys leave a like favorite comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys all right right left right left